For this system of inequalities, we're going to begin with the first inequality. To graph that inequality, we need to switch it to an equation and graph the line. To graph a line, you need two points. For convenience, we're going to find the x and y intercept starting with the x intercept. So we're going to plug 0 in for y. We get x equal to 2, which corresponds to the point 2 comma 0. Now for the y intercept. Plugging in 0 for x, we get 1 half y equals 4. Multiply both sides by 2. Gives us y equals 8, which corresponds to the point 0, 8. Now, we're going to go ahead and graph the line with the two points. It's so solid because we have the greater than or equal to. Now, since it's an inequality, we need a test point. We're going to choose arbitrarily 0, 0. And when we plug that into the inequality, we get 0 greater than or equal to 4 which is false, 0 is not greater than or equal to 4, so we're going to shade the region that does not contain 0, 0, which is above the line. Now we're ready to move on to the second inequality. So, again, switch it to an equation, graph the line. We're going to find the intercepts again, starting with the x-intercept. And the first one, we get 2, 0. Now for the y-intercept, plug in 0 for x. Just gives us y equal to 6, which is the point 0, 6. Now we can graph. Again, it's going to be a solid line because of the uh, less than or equal to. We're going to use a test point again so we can figure out which region to shade. We're going to use 0, 0 for convenience again. And we plug that in. We get 0 less than or equal to 6, which is true. 0 is less than or equal to 6. So we shade the region with 0, 0, which is below the line using a different color and now we can see that the overlapping region is the purple region so that's the one that satisfies those two inequalities but we have to satisfy all of the inequalities in the system so the only solution is going to be 2 0 because that's the only point that is greater than or equal to x and greater than or equal to y it's the only one that's in quadrant one well technically not in quadrant one but on the uh, x-axis. And that's it.